pal, Empty Hero. And tonight we're going to do things a, a little bit differently. We were going to stream Stalker Shadows of Chernobyl, which would have been about a six to eight hour long stream. Uh, however, about an hour and a half ago, I was at my neighbor's house, uh, just poking in, looking at their little, their furry little Halloween party. I didn't have a costume on, and someone said to me, Hey, Empty Hero, try, try one of these deviled eggs. And what they didn't tell me was that they made the deviled eggs earlier, and they had just heated them in the microwave. And that the, the devil-y goop in the egg had formed like an airtight seal on top of the deviled egg. And so when I bit into it... Uh, oh, they also didn't tell me they just heated it up in the microwave. So it, it formed like steam between the egg white and the bottom of the, the gooey yolk stuff. And when I bit into it, the egg exploded. And uh, now I have third degree burns on my tongue and the roof of my mouth and like the backs of my teeth and gums and the palate. And oh my God, it hurts so bad. Uh, the little old lady who lives in the neighborhood, she gave me one of her hip pills she takes for her hip pain. And I thought, oh great, this will this will help. I can still do stalker with with uh, this. No, now my hips numb and my mouth still really really hurts. <laughs> so I've got some ice water and uh, mm, some some salt water. And we're gonna watch House on a Haunted Hill. And I'm gonna get up like every five minutes to go grab a, uh, a pill, or not a pill, um, a piece of ice. Because these are going to melt soon. And you know, the worst thing is all these streams le recently... Yeah, let's let's start the movie. Um, I was complaining about my coffee being lousy. I made the most amazing, delicious cup of coffee today. And uh, it's like chocolate and with vanilla creamer. And I put a marshmallow on top. And then I set up for that, that fucking... I went to that stupid party. And now I can't drink my coffee. Because just, just touching it with my tongue... It's like licking that belly in the corner, that little Ralph belly. It's disgusting. This is the shortest public domain ha Halloween movie I could find. I don't want to do too long because this pill is going to wear off and I'm going to be in agony. Luckily though, since my hip's numb, I could I guess I could use it to jerk off and it would feel like somebody else's hip. The ghosts are moving tonight, restless. Yes, they're moving because they can't yeah, afford the local myself. tax ordinances. I'm Watson Pritchard. In just a minute, I'll show you the only really haunted house in the world. And also my dick and balls, because I'm gay. Since it was built a century gay. ago, seven people, including my brother, have been murdered in it. But not enough about that. Here's my seven cock and balls. I've owned the house. If there's women, look away. It's not for you. It's just for the men. It was very expensive. <laughs> I was almost dead. And egg in these trying times. Oh. Thank you, Joey. Yes, it, it was Sebastian. He he sent a little boy pea egg to to assassinate my tongue. Hello. Hello. And I've rented the house on Haunted Hill tonight so that my wife can give a party, a haunted house party. Yes, there's a spooky hole in the bathroom wall, gentlemen. Ooh, put your penis through it and you'll get a spooky bukuki. Oh, yes. You're all invited. If any of you will spend the next 12 hours in this house, I'll give you each $10,000. Or your next of kin in case you don't survive. But no darkies allowed. They don't show up in black and white films at night. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, it, it hurts my, my tongue wife's talking. idea to have our guests come in funeral cars. She's so amusing. Dirk, don't bring up the Her don't bring up Sean Connery. He might original. his spirit could possess me, and I'd have to do the rest of the show with an awful accent, which hurts my tongue even more. Sweet Sally Struthers, my tongue. Who knows? Laugh at my it's death, I'll get an egg and explode in your mouth. So no doubt a brave man. Oh, did someone Dirk, say explode you in your mouth? Mm -hmm. you and I happen to know that Lance needs the 10,000. Oh, the egg exploded, Musicology, because the deviled egg night. goop formed a seal. Bridges. So when it's they they microwaved it, it built up steam on the inside. They forgot the to poke holes in it because they're assholes. On ghosts. She's also desperate for money. Gambling. And she's old and her pussy's as wrinkly as her forehead. 
I thought I care because I'm gay. And yet he is risking his life to spend another night here. I wonder why. He says for money. Yes, Fat Man, I saw Fuzz's gay makeup. He looked like uh, David Bowie. He looked like a bad guy from a 1980s Gundam show. One of the female ones. see a little touch of greed there? Around the mouth and eye. Oh, wait, he's just Jewish. Sorry. Oops. This is Nora Manning. I picked her from the thousands of people who work for me because she needed the 10,000. And she wears clothes. the same size clothing as I do. Family. Oh, wait till you get in the shower, She's honey. Pretty. I'll be stretching them out with my big bony man shoulders and hips. The party's starting now. And you have until midnight to find the house on Haunted Hill. Is it really even a hill? It's more of a slope. The hill kind of rounds down in both directions. By the way, this movie sucks. I, I like it, but it does it does suck. People always confuse it with the Haunting of Hell House movie, which is really good, but this one is just kind of eh. They're looking around, making sure there's no black people here so they can tell the kind of jokes we all like to tell. <laughs> right, I see none. Okay. So these two black guys are walking down the road and they see a sign that says turn your right for for 98 cents. Well, one of them has a dollar and one of them has 97 cents. And he says, well, if you go in, bring out your change and I'll turn white too. So the one guy goes in, he comes out and he's white. And his friend says, great, give me the change. And the white guy says, get a job, you fucking nigger. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, wait, no, there's a black guy there. Shit. Oh, now they're beating me with shoes that they've stolen out of the back of a van. Oh, damn it. Now they're fucking my wife. Ah. Oh. Hey, that's not my wife, that's my son. Bravo, son, way to be woke. Yes. Take that dick. Ow. My face. Oh, Gigbound, I'm heavily medicated. And I'm sip- I'm gonna have to get some more ice water soon, because this is halfway empty already. I can keep this up for- this- this movie is an hour and ten minutes long. I can keep it up for then, and after that, God Jesus. I don't know, I'm gonna stick my mouth in the toilet and fill it up with ice chips. That is the most ornate glory hole I've ever made, holy shit. The man gets third degree burns all over his mouth and still streams, earning the hero part of your namesake tonight empty. Flex oh. biceps. Thank you, Bouncy. Yeah, I, I didn't want to not... I said I was going to stream tonight, and I, I can't do my eight-hour-long stalker stream. We'll do that in the next couple of weeks. But, ow, this, this fucking hurts. I, I didn't want to just not do anything. Mm. Oh, no, Porter, if I didn't say the N-word, I said, uh, niggle. It's a niggling detail. He said, get a job, niggle. You, you're always niggling me. <laughs> Yeah, I legit have third degree burns. They're they're white. I looked it up. If if your tongue's white, it's either third degree well, burns or your fuzz out and you've been looking a stick of butter. It's a very warm welcome, is it? Only the ghosts in this house are glad we're here. Only you guys in this house are glad we're here. I live with my mom. Don't you two know each other? I'm afraid I don't even know your name. I'm Nora Manning. Lance Schroeder. Is Frederick Lauren a friend of yours? I've heard of him, but I've never met him. I work for one of his companies, but I've never seen him. I Except sucked his Mr. dick Man until either. he slapped me in the head home. when he realized I was a woman and not a 12-year-old boy. Well, then you're the only one of us who does. I don't know him. All the details about running the house were done by mail. He's quite wealthy. That guy reminds me of Piglet. He always and, does. Uh, fine, like, he should be hanging out with Winnie the Pooh. Four, I think so oh, bother. There's a skeleton on a string. Oh, d d d d d Well, if I were going to haunt anybody, this would certainly be the house I'd do it in. This house has more spooks than the Jefferson's apartment. Who closed the door? You better look out. That chandelier is going to... It's going to fall over any second. It wasn't even over top of her. Did you see that? She wasn't even under it. Wait, let's go back. Through the magic of editing. 
You will see, she was never actually under it. Okay, wait, let's let's slow it down. And then he looks and he's like, no! That's not even close. She was never in danger. Oh, the brown kid says more spooks than his mud is the bedroom. No, brown kid, they were helping to fix the carpet. That's why she was always screaming out, oh, nail me, nail me. Because she was like, nail me this carpet down or some shit. Oh, the whole subplot is that he's gay and he hates his wife. He's he's trying to kill his wife and she's trying to kill him because she's tired of, of him sucking all of her boyfriend's cocks. I don't know. Couldn't you grow breasts larger than a 12-year-old boy? Who am I kidding? That's why I love you. I'm not going to the party. This spend the night ghost party was your idea, remember? It's gonna cost me I didn't say I wanted to ghost party. I said I wanted to hang out with spooks. That's why I bought all those basketballs. Friends? Do we have any friends? No, you're jealous. Often you're late. We're not doing stalker because I, I have a really bad third degree burn on my tongue, and I don't want to do this for too long. Kind of a cross section, from psychiatrist to typist, and from drunk to jet pilot. They share one thing: they all need money. Now, let's see if they I all need money. Mm. I just put gold you bullion in my ass and I have them pull it out with their Could tongue. <laughs> Talk about having a silver tongue. That's not silver. That's shit Why do and you blood. Do that? It ah. spoils the champagne. It might explode. All over yeah, my face. Oh. Would you guarantee because that? Vincent Price was a closeted that homosexual. Make a see. good headline. Playboy kills wife with champagne cork. Will you join me? No, thank you. Just a sip might improve your humor. My humor is fine, thanks. No, but just I for the just you. for the record, I would. She's not she's not oh, hot, but I would give her back. some of that some of that dick. Cause back then they didn't they didn't have color, You'll so enjoy the party more. she wouldn't even notice all the blood in my semen. Go on. She'd be like, "Why is this semen gray instead of white?" And I'd just be like, "It's it's sepia toned." Don't you mind that? Your trust is so touching. And I'm not going to the party. Of all my wives, you are the least agreeable. But still alive. Hmm. Would you go away for a million dollars, tax-free? You want it all, don't you? I deserve it all. Your jealousy isn't tax-free, and your possessiveness is maddening. And the shit on the end of your penis that gets on the back of my knees when we sleep. That's on the house as well. Come. You'll slip up one of these days. Think so? If I live long enough. You remember the fun we had when you poisoned me? <laughs> Something you ate, the doctor said. Yes. She, she actually put Last breast milk in his long. coffee. And because it came from a woman's Annabelle. bosom, his body rejected it. You'd do it again if you thought you could get away with it, wouldn't you? Darling, what makes you think that? Something about you. By the way, Vincent Price is one of my favorite actors of all time. I make fun of him, but he's a really good actor. And he does he does some of the worst movies I've ever seen, and it's so good. And don't sit up all night thinking of ways to get rid of me. It makes wrinkles. Mmm. Plan number one, draw boobs on the wall of the house so he gets disgusted and leaves. <laughs> number two, queef on all the candles so when he lights them it smells like pussy. This is what she used on my brother and her sister. Hacked them to pieces. We found parts of the bodies all over the house. In places you wouldn't think. The funny thing is the heads have never been found. Hands and feet and things like that. But no heads. The wife probably and I've always wanted to get head for my brother and his wife. Carried away by his <laughs> what a shame. Took a swing at him and simply went on from there. <laughs> she certainly went on. How many people did she kill, Mr. Pritchard? Only two. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Your husband, your brother, and, his, no and your sister-in-law are dead. So there are two loose heads just floating around in here somewhere? You can hear them at night. They whisper to each other. 
and then cry. They say, hey, I've got an itch on my nose. Could you get it? No, oh, wait, you can't. You're just ahead. Anyone care to mix me a drink? Certainly. What will you have? What will I have? A dried out vagina. Good evening. <laughs> I'm your host. Yes, I'm the host of many things. Syphilis, AIDS. Rip Sean Connery, great actor, great guy. Ah, Sir Billy, we hardly knew ye. I hear ghosts now. Why did I have to make my last movie so Billy? Ooh. Money Penny, help me. Now, before the party begins, let's go over the details. The caretakers will leave at midnight, locking us in here until they come back in the morning. Once the door is locked, there's no way out. The windows have bars that a jail would be proud of. Also, I'll need you a Groupon right outside, now, and don't forget to leave a good phone. review on Airbnb when no you leave. No phone, no one within miles, so no way to call for help. And no lube. Like a coffin. So, if any of you decide... No, not like a coffin, like a sneeze in you. Fucking retard. Of course, if you leave, I shan't be able to pay you anything. I'm interested in your reasons for this, uh, party. Aside from the pleasant company. Ghosts, Doctor. I think everyone wonders what they would do if they saw a ghost. Oh, I'd just rape it. <laughs> it's not a crime. There's no body of evidence. You could, you could just fuck it in the ghost butt. Come. Ghosts, etc. Being only created. Oh, thank you, YouTube, for alerting me about my own stream. That's great. Well, Pritchard here promises us genuine ghosts. Seven now. Maybe more before morning. That's cheerful. Four men have been murdered in this house. And three women. Four men and four skins, yes. Four of us are men. Three the Jewish murderer strikes again. For everybody. Hmm. Richard, why don't you take us on a tour through the house and let's see what happens. Hmm? Yes, first let's see the ballroom and then he adjusts his testicles. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. See that stain? Blood. A young girl was killed here. And whatever got her wasn't human. Don't stand there. What do you mean? Where? Oh, no! You stepped right under the guy with the Hershey syrup bottle, you dumb bitch. It's too late. They've marked you. Ridiculous. The roof probably leaks. Oh, she drew yeah, first blood. Who would want I just wanted a haircut and a hamburger. Male and I said... <laughs> Jim, how are we going to go cruising? You ain't got no legs! His legs are all over me! Was there a man who threw his wife into a wine vat or something? That was in the cellar. There's been a murder almost every place in this house. Really, because these heels are doing murder on my feet. Because <laughs> Vincent Price wears women's shoes, you see. Oh, here's a big plot point. There's just a vat full of acid. You're gonna see it in a minute. It's so he stupid. Didn't die here. He was electrocuted later. And Mr. I think Norton. he put the cute in electrocute. He was mm. experimenting with wines. But his wife didn't think it was any good. So he filled the vat with acid and threw her in. She was supposed to stay down. But the bones came up. And he, his final thing. words were, I finally got her to go down None on me. None of the murders here were just ordinary. Just shooting or stabbing. They've all been sort of wild. Why, wild. one man was killed with a, a, a frozen hot dog. God, they pushed it right into the back of his throat, so he suffocated. His last words were... <laughs> Well, better put this in the acid before Richard Gere shoves it up his ass. Destroys everything with hair and flesh. Just leaves the bone. Oh, well good, that means, uh... Britbong's safe, he doesn't have any hair left. 
<laughs> Being full anybody with that comb over, buddy. Oh no, a dinosaur toy! <laughs> Run away! My, it's dry and dusty down here. No, that's just my pussy. <laughs> Let me scratch my neck. <laughs> a cure for that upstairs. <laughs> Come on. Oh, music college, this film's in black and white so you don't see the jizz stains on the back of Vincent Price's white pants. How'd you get invited to this party? No. Oh, go on. I mean, what'd he tell you? Well, first he said, get your Mr. hand Lawrence, off my thigh, you harpy. $10,000. But he didn't say anything about being locked in. No. Uh, he just made a deal with me on the phone, but nothing about having to stay. Aren't you going to stay? If I don't, I lose $10,000. I'm going to stay, too. $10,000. would not be the first time I yeah. spent the night with an elderly man for $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I agree with what that doc says. You can spook yourself. I've done it in planes. Seen things that weren't really there. Or were they? <laughs> for instance, if I... If I put my hand really close in front of my face, ooh, do I have five fingers or seven? It's all blurry, ooh. Ten thousand is no more to him than a nickel is to us. We were in an automobile accident. Now I'm the only one in the family who can make any money. Boy, I've never seen so many doors. Yes, you see, I've been, I've been paralyzed from the waist down. They can, they can do whatever they want down there. I don't even notice. They just put rolls of quarters in there when they're done. I go right to the arcade, and I crab walk, and I say, Hey, kids, you want to play Galaga for free? And I, I pinch my nose, and I go, <gasps> and I shoot them right out of my cooch. Directly into the Bottles. machine. All the, all the guys who operate the arcades have syphilis on their fingers <laughs> from picking out the quarters. Oh, and I'm sorry, Vincent was supposed to go into this closet. Does it go anywhere? Quick, I got a boil. I need it lanced. It's right here on my shoulder. You can see it. Ooh, you didn't pay the electric. You had to spend it all on cough syrup and Arizona iced tea. Why didn't you vote for me in 2016? It was my turn! Me! But I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about it later. Bill just opened a crate full of 12-year-old Cambodian boys. Oh, hey, Nathan. Blech. Oh, excuse me. I'm drinking a lot of ice water to keep my tongue from falling off, so I'm going to be burping and pissing out the window. And did she say a ghost? Ghost where? Is Lance the ghost? Did he? Did the ghost go to Lance? Where am I? Who am I? Huh? Must be weird for him to walk around with a hot wax candle without dripping it on a man's ass and balls right. afterwards. Nothing that money won't cure. I must. Just to bump my head. And the only way you could bump your head in here is to run head on into the wall. You didn't do that, did you? Let's get a bandage on that. What are you, some kind of fucking retard? <laughs> That's basically what he's saying. I wonder why they didn't kill him. Who? He didn't bump his head. Yes, the CIA. He has information that could lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. That's why she was there. It's like, it's him. He saw what I did. He saw it with his own two eyes. It's all been a pack of lies. 
Because she can, she can feel it coming in the air tonight. You get when the idea. When you came in, you said something about a ghost. There was something. What did it look like? Well, it, like a it cheap... A I black don't know. That went all the way <laughs> to the a cheap floor. prop. Weren't you a little frightened at the time? Well, yes. That, Mr. Lauren, is hysteria. But then, Doctor, how do you explain what happened to Lance? Was that hysteria, too? You better get that checked in a day or so. Thanks, Doc. Wait for me in the hall. The ghosts are coming closer, Mr. Lauren. I just realized my fucking mic came unplugged. <laughs> okay, I think I'm back. Before the night's over, you will, too. Would you like a drink, Lance? Uh, no, thanks. I'd like one. Scotch and. I don't think I missed anything, right? Mr. Lauren, are you really going to pay anyone who stays all night? Certainly. $10,000. Will there be much red tape or delay? Because I'm old and I'm going Frankly, to die yes. very soon. There you are, my dear. She wants to get all that money so she can blow it on vacations to Florida and real estate and leave nothing to her grandkids. <laughs> Just like everybody else from her generation. You fucking bitch. Oh, is uh, YouTube censoring the chat? Oh, that's not right. People were talking about that last night. I think they've changed a couple settings without asking me. What you saw might have been a ghost, Nora, but what was in here with me was no ghost. Oh, you know why they call her Nora? Because she's neither a man nor a woman. Because she has a micro penis and inverted balls. That's why I like it so much. Now you see how I tap that. That's what I'm gonna do to you later. I'm just gonna tap it till I find the hollow sound. And stick my dick in your inverted balls, you hua. Not sure why I made him Sean Connery. I don't know. I'm sorry. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve feet. Hmm. Twelve feet, but only six legs. How do you explain that? Six. Now I'm gonna knock on the other wall. When you hear me, you knock on this wall. All right, she's she's right on that seam. You can see that too, right? The prop wall has a seam. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> An elderly woman just standing there. That's scary, right? Oh, thank God she didn't, like, bend her knees while walking out. That would have been even scarier. She told me! <laughs> she told me Joe Biden is a Trojan horse candidate. He's gonna die and they're gonna replace him with Kamala and the Kamala will make her the vice president. And then they'll get rid of Kamala. <laughs> I don't want that! What if it ran out of here? I'd have seen it. Lance, it doesn't run it just floats. Lance, it doesn't run. It's on a little trolley, and three men are pulling it with a very obvious rope. <laughs> can I? That's, that's the best idea. If, if your ghost is on a little skateboard being pulled by, by a rope, go upstairs, because you can't go upstairs on a, on a skateboard. I'm Annabelle Lauren. Well, I mean, okay, one, I don't see the bell. And what's the first thing? How can you be blank and a bell? But you don't even got a bell. Party. Wouldn't you like to freshen up? I, I take the hint, I can smell your pussy from here. What do you do, with Pig intestines? Yuck. This is your room. Depressing, isn't it? What is it, a button? Why am I depressing it? What are you talking about? Perfect atmosphere for my husband's party. Why did you come here? He said he'd give me 
Why also, he had candy. I don't know. My supervisor just came and said I'd been invited. I'm not gonna blink, though. I'll stay here all night, but you won't make me blink. How long have you known my husband? I just met him tonight. So? Why are you? Who? 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 Shirley wants to know. What were you doing wandering around by yourself? Well, I was in the cellar with Lance. Mr. Schroeder. And I just left, that's all. Don't do it again. Don't go anywhere in this house by yourself. Now, face, you can't go anywhere by yourself unless you bring somebody with you, okay? You're in danger. We all are. What's so dangerous about urine? What do you, what? I hope for your sake. Did the ghost eat some asparagus or some shit? That's why she had her hands up. She's like, ah, I gotta go to the bathroom. I really gotta piss. Get away from me, it stinks. I'm Annabelle Lauren. Were you looking for something? Uh, not exactly. Are you the doctor? No. No, I'm Lance Schroeder. The pilot. You've hurt yourself. Oh, it's uh, just a bump on the head. It's perfect. He's a pilot, and she's got flies all over on her point. pussy. <laughs> He's used to flying. Thank you, Mrs. Lauren. Annabelle Lance. She wants it. She's laying on the bed and she's rubbing you a big the young girl in the cellar, column she shaped object. Was she? And you don't look like the type to go around bumping his head. What really happened, Lance? Well, Nora thought she saw a ghost, but uh, I didn't see anything. She was just frightened then. And mad at me, I think. I kidded her about it. I wouldn't joke about anything else that happens here tonight. Because I'm a lesbian with no sense of humor. <laughs> Now, if you excuse me, this this well, big I'd 70s like carpet looks delicious. Let me just start chewing on it. Lance. If I need help, may I count on you? You see, I, I can't sure, quite please. reach down there to clean it. I was born with really well, short, stubby arms. Anyway? I mean, what is with this party bit? This I used no to use a little shark it, fish grabber thingy, but it melted husband. when it got too close. I'm trying to what it was. Must be pretty big if he's going to lay out 50,000. Money Smaller than you'd think. That's why he has the money. What for? He doesn't even know us. Maybe that's exactly why you're here. Well, what can he get away with? Oh, he thinks that big money like his can get away with anything. You know, of course, that I'm Why, he mailed in a voter ballot, and he's showing up in person the next day. The other two died. And if you die, he can harvest your votes. I don't want to join them. Hail Biden. You mean he, uh... All his doctors said they died of heart attacks. Two girls in their 20s. Well, what can he do? My husband is sometimes insane with jealousy. So, a little insane. known fact, her husband has the death note. Please be careful. <laughs> My Don't wife, I just realized she didn't have a penis. Die of Kill heart attack. Okay, take care of that. <laughs> I'll take a man's dick and suck it! They're just watching him on tape all day, just sucking dicks. Little do they know, he's hiding death note pages in the foreskin, and he's penciling it in with his tongue. That was the original concept for death note. Annabelle, you're missing all the fun. Nora Manning was almost killed by a falling chandelier. Oh, don't use that brush. Why can't I use that brush? Smell the bottom half. Oh! Yes. It was in my house. <laughs> That's why my hair looks like this. I put brushes in my ass and bend over backwards to comb my hair. So clever, Frederick. Yes, I lie awake nights wondering why I married you. It was rather a mistake. You didn't marry me, dear. I married you. Unpleasant, but no mistake. Well, hurry up. Frederick, for the last time, I'm not going to your party. And for the last time, it's not my party, but yours. And you are going. I am not. You ready to? No. Are you See, ready sometimes here? you gotta slap a woman. Yes. Show her who's boss. But you adore me as much they get as these ideas in their head like they can no. vote and drive oh, cars and look you in the eyes. Straighten that bitch out. It's almost time to lock up the house. And then your party will really begin. I wonder how it'll end. 
Oh, it'll end like really uh, unsatisfyingly with a, a big prop skeleton walking around. <laughs> I've seen this movie. <laughs> I know what happens. So if you're scared that the ghosts are going to get you, why wouldn't you go into separate rooms? Why not just all hang out by the front door, Who is it? wait your for sun to rise, and then you're good to go? It's almost midnight, Nora. We're all going to get together down in the living room. All right, Mr. Lloyd. Yes, we're going to play Monopoly. But none of that money in the middle bullshit. We're not 12 anymore. I swear to fucking God, if even one of you buys a property without going all the way around once, I will cut you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, they couldn't find me for three years. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> You'd think a big, smelly, decapitated head would be pretty obvious, but nope. Here I am. Hey, she got some fucking head in her musty old box. <laughs> she must have been in that old lady's room by mistake. Boy, am I glad he's there in the box, and I'm out here, and I'm also the sheriff. ruh -roh. Oh my god, it's a wall. Judo chop! Come with us. Come with us before he kills you. <laughs> ah, I don't respect your pronouns. You're a single person, not an us. How dare you? This is the 70s. We don't put up with that shit. But I identify as a, a non-binary plutorium. Pl plur a plurality. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the word is. You don't understand. It's it was her turn. Mr. and his wife. They've been caretakers here for years. She's blind, you know. I'm not going to stay She's here. blind, but her favorite movie is There's Something About Mary. Explains all the I'm jizz sure keeping your hair standing up. case of hysteria on our hands. I think she's just a little upset. Oh yeah? Well, I think your hair looks like bacon. How about that, Roger Klutz? Alright, she, she can, she can perk him up pretty good. Looking at you in that wonderful dress, I almost forget that I'm a fag. <laughs> Bridges, Dr. Trent, you know Watson Pritchard, of course, Nora Manning, and uh, this is Lance Schroeder. That's an annoying look. That's Lucas says both of us have had sex with that man. Now what about the 10,000? I don't care. He wants to kill me. Who wants to kill you? Mr. Lawrence. May I have your attention, please? I think you all remember the bargain we made about staying all night. Ten thousand dollars apiece. Well, I've changed my you mind. You also have to let me eat your ass if you're a man. Ten thousand dollars will be divided amongst the rest of you. If I should die... ...you will be paid by my estate. When the door is locked from the outside by the caretakers, we'll all be forced to stay in this house until morning. If any of you decide oh, you couldn't possibly stay, open a window or use one of the dozens of other doors space. in a mansion. <laughs> because there'll be no way to get out. I don't want to stay. Wait. Don't mind that. That's just my parakeet upstairs. And if he starts talking, ignore him. When he says deeper, Julio, deeper. <laughs> He's just—he used to be owned by a diving instructor. <laughs> Yet, who told them they could leave? They never leave before midnight. Well, they've gone now. I was going um, to actually, ask it's it's daylight saving times tonight, Bobby. So it's an hour earlier. Decision for you. We're all locked in now. But I don't want to stay. And I'm sorry, my dear, but it's too late now. Darling. Yes, because you know doors lock from the inside, and you can't possibly just unlock them from the inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is your party, remember? 
In spite of my wife's faith in my ability to do the impossible, and her reticence to stand close to me with my cock breath hitting her right on the nose. In the morning. I'm sure we'll have a gay old time. Some party favors for you in these little coffins. Oh no! Britt Bong and his whole family died. <laughs> they put him in little coffins. Oh, it's a gun. It's rather dangerous. I suppose you all know how to use one of these things, but in case you don't. You just press down in this lever with your thumb and then pull the trigger. You see, they're loaded. Hmm. I was going to shoot one guy, one you vase with that. The dead, only the living. <laughs> if it breaks after one bullet, no thanks. Doctor? And? Ah, yes. Be sure to shoot the ghost when you see it. Nora? I don't want a gun. I want a sword. Miss Bridges. And here's yours, dear. I don't need it. It was your idea. Who knows, you may want to use it on me before this night is over. Throw these guns away. They won't do you any good. As I'm a libtard, I, I hate America. Backwards. Although not for the same reason. Let's all Dr. put on dresses and change our names to Pat. Don't you approve of our little party favors? Suppose Nora had had a gun when she mistook the blind woman for a ghost. I don't think anyone else is going to walk around in total darkness. Oh, I'm sure we're not going to go running around the house shooting each other, aren't you? No, that would be way oh, too no. interesting of a movie. Fear makes people <laughs> do happen. amazing things. You said your sister-in-law killed a man and a woman here and cut them up? You said they found hands and feet, but they never found any heads. Would well, I was in the kitchen, heads? and I just saw a head of lettuce! See one of those heads? I said head of lettuce, why are you oh. blushing? It said because I just saw the salad dressing. Get it, Coral? The salad dressing. Darling, I really don't need this. Now see, she got confused. She's not calling him darling because she loves him. She, he was squinting just now because he was farting and a little cum came out. And he looked oriental. So she thought he was Dar Ling, the Chinese man who runs the buffet down the road. Honest mistake. Just go look in my suitcase. Just go look. Oh, it's your disgusting used panties. I swear, I thought those were Wednesday panties. It's what Tuesday, you bitch! A woman's head! Nora, I think you're a little upset. Hi, oh, hey, Tyler. Would you care for a sedative? Get out! Get out, all of you! All of you, get out of here and leave me alone! Just get out of here! <laughs> but no, seriously. Why don't we all just do sedatives and chill out and, pl and play it's fucking right, Monopoly? I wish she'd taken the sedative. Well, what do you suppose she thought she saw? They're closing in on her. Look, Doc, I think somebody ought to stay with her. There could be a million people around her. A million people, 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 people around her. When you're that short and he drinks all that scotch, you know, his BMI is like three. He gets drunk. You, you give him a fucking Enjoy thimble full of old apple juice, he's going to get fucking high as shit. Do you think it would do any good if you went in and talked to her? Well, do you think there really was a head in her suitcase? Yeah, I guess you could say it's not there because she lost her head. Ah! Eh! Ah! Eh, you get it? You fucking assholes! All right, I'll be in my room. Just call it. Thanks. I'll just be in my room with my dry pussy. <laughs> if you don't feel like walking over, here's some sandpaper you could rub on your dick. <laughs> same you same sure experience. Are you seven people in this house? Positive. I mean, there's Irish Jim, but you asked if there were people. Nor in frightening women. Nor a lemon to Europe 3 in 2021. Perhaps two. Second half. What do you suggest we do about it, Doctor? Don't frighten her anymore. Oh, I was going to have her smell my finger and guess which one of you boys it was in. <laughs> I guess not now. Really, the big delay for Europe 3 is I want to see how the election goes, and I got two other projects I want to finish first. That's all. Nora. 
Nora? Ah, yes, gently rapping and tapping on my chamber door. And when he came in, he smelled my cunt and said that I will penetrate the front nevermore. Until you do shit. Yuck. Oh, no! It's Nora's weave. She was black all along. No wonder her fingers smelt like chitlins. Nora! Nora! Nora, I found Britbong's wig. <laughs> See his little legs dangling from under his head? Oh! -ho! I'm the ghost of Halloween past! I don't know about this. I'm the size of a kid, so I tried to trick or treat and they wouldn't let me! So I haunted them! Where? Whoa! Where is she? It's too late. It's too late. You'll never find her again. Pritchard, if you know where she is, you better tell me now. She's gone. She's gone to them. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh wait, never mind, there she is. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just an idiot. <laughs> No, we were using that rope to pull the old lady prop. What are you doing? Now we're going to have to push it and be in frame. You fucked it up. Oh, quick, let me just sniff your feet. They're still warm. Let her down. Yes, let her down like you did your parents. Oh, I'm going to be a pilot. Eh, no, he's he has a palm pilot. That means he jerks off people at the airport bathrooms. Well, at least one of us in this room is well hung. Because <laughs> he has a small big dick and his hair looks like bacon. Well, do you fancy a shag? I mean, we're locked in. <laughs> you know, it's the swinging 50s after all. No one will know. She's dead, Mr. Lauren. Your wife hanged herself. Um, I think you mean hung herself? It was very Hanged is not a word. <laughs> Boo, your jokes suck. Oh, no, he said boo, he scared me, he's a ghost. He's the, the, he's the critical ghost who tells you your joke sucks. Please don't do that, you scared me. Now wait just a gosh darn minute. Hide me, they smelled that dead woman's feet and I'm next. And I stepped into dog dew and I haven't washed my foot all night. He tried to kill me. He grabbed me and choked me and put me in that room. And then he went away and left me. Ooh. And all he left me with was a fruit pie. And it was lemon and I hate lemon. Mr. What? I ate a bit of apple fruit pie! Are you sure about Fuck! This? Him. Has anybody seen you since he left you? I heard some people in that room, but I went by and nobody saw me. I heard some people, but I went in and there's just some Irish. <laughs> They're not people, we know this. Bunch of potato apes. <laughs> Lauren said she committed suicide, but I think somebody killed her. Him. No, Shim. Respect his pronouns, you bigot. Haven't you ever seen the Tingler? <laughs> He's extra gay in that one. Little did you know this movie takes place in a, in a black neighborhood. That's why the windows are barred. <laughs> Not that black people are dangerous, but because the owners of this house were racists. Let them in. They just want to tell you how much their lives matter. And also walk out with all of your shoes and cutlery. You bigot. I'm sure you've come to the same conclusion I have. Oh, that's a really yeah, long name. So. Hi. Let's all have a sure, discussion. you've come to the same conclusion I have. How are you doing? What do you want to talk okay. about? In a minute. I've got to go downstairs. 
Hi, going to go downstairs. That's a weird name. <laughs> well, what do you want to talk about? Going to go downstairs. <laughs> I do that to, to my sister's kids all the time, and they fucking hate it. <laughs> and they'd be like, that's not my name! And I'll say, what? And then they go, what? And I go, chicken butt. And they fucking just, they want to leave. I make their lives miserable. <laughs> Get fucking chicken butted, scrub. That's that's the look they have in their face that she just had, like... He just chicken butted her. To the core of her being. Did someone just say chicken butt? In my gay party? No. How dare you? His wife's dead, so he's like, Well, I guess I can have sex with her one last time. So he puts his candlestick between her legs and rides it. Because <laughs> he's just homosexual. <laughs> they go in his room and they light the candles and they just all smell like shit. Like, ugh! What the fuck? <laughs> you can see her eyes moving, by the so way. Beautiful. So greedy. Well, let's warm you up, and he just projectile shits all over her. What are you doing in here? Wait. Don't wait. What do you mean, coming in here? I can want them to take her away. He holds up his hand. It's covered in jizz. You're drunk. You're drunk. All right, he goes, I'm so fucked up. Why did you come into this room? I'm the only one who understands. Understands what? Your wife isn't there anymore. She's already joined them. Bridget, I've had enough of your spook talk. Get out, you sutton. Don't come I've had enough of your again. spook talk. But I didn't do nothing, she. <laughs> Why does it smell like shrimp in here all of a sudden? Oof. He looks like he just wandered off of the set of a Quentin Tarantino movie. Where he argued about why you shouldn't have to tip. <laughs> Where's what's her name? Nora. I didn't disturb her since I don't think this concerns her. No, you're right. You're right. She's just a woman. Who Mr. cares Lawrence, what she thinks? Isn't there some way we can get out of this house now? No. None at all. We could try breaking out. The only door to the outside is made of steel. Ah, we get it wet and we let it oxidize. Stone. Problem solved. We gotta stay. I'm not afraid of your ghosts. Notice they won't do any reverse shots of the front door because there's a big window right next to it. But I am afraid. When we came here a few hours ago, the only thing we had in common was the ten thousand dollars we'd get. And now, now I realize we're all gay. <laughs> Quick, let's shit on the floor and roll around in it. <laughs> so far tonight. That's what those guys do, right? One of us was almost killed by a falling chandelier. One of us was mysteriously slugged. One of us has been driven to the brink of absolute hysteria. And one of us is dead. Were these accidents? Suicide? And we must stay here for six more hours. Six hours? Wait, do you see the symbolism? Do you see it? It's it's his mind state. He's looking down at this little effeminate little fuckboy with his curly hair and his kissable Irish lips, and he's horny. The little man makes him become the big horny. It's got so many layers. Who will be next? It's beautiful. Let me ask you a question, Doctor. You were the first one to see my wife there. That's not a question. Did you also see anything that she could have climbed up on? And then jumped? No. Did any of them? Alright, let me ask you about one more thing did you see. How then Have you seen the movie Next Friday with Ice Cube? They it's wonderful. Lauren, how? She couldn't have pulled herself up there. She couldn't have dropped from the ceiling. Do you think your wife killed herself? No. She was murdered. By one of you. Oh, it wasn't him. He's too short to get her up there. <laughs> or you, Mr. Lauren. To deliberately kill someone, you must have a reason. We were all strangers to your wife. 
Only you you would think you'd have to have a reason, but maybe they're just driving through your neighborhood in an 18-wheeler. And he's dumb enough to stop. Her <laughs> husband hasn't had a thousand opportunities to do it in such a way so that he'd never be suspected. I'm not such a fool as to hang my wife from a ceiling by a rope. The fact no. That you are I'd push her into a vat of acid. <laughs> and that's a matter for the police. So how do we get the police? That's my point. We can't until more That's my point. Fuck the police. Okay, I'm coming straight party. from the underground. They hate a bacon-haired fella that. because he's sepia-toned. You may be right. If another murder's in the works, let's stop it now. Another murder? Why not? Maybe one of us saw too much. Why should even a millionaire want to give each of us $10,000 to spend one night in a gloomy old house? To see some ghosts, have a party? I mean, the last time a millionaire no. gave me $10,000 was to go on vacation on his Is island and leave murder? without my children. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Somebody killed Mrs. Lauren. We know that. One of us is guilty and the rest of us are innocent. Okay. Now, what we have to do for the next six hours is protect ourselves from each other. Do you really think... I don't think... No one cares what you have to say, lady. So Shut I'm up. I'm going to my room. <laughs> and if anybody comes in, I'll shoot him. Or her. Or her. And if we all stay in our room... Or shim, stay, Vincent. The innocent will have no reason to leave his room. And the guilty will admit his guilt if he or she does. And we all have guns. And we're all agreed. I wish this night were over. Well, I wish I was taller. Can't always get what you want, you fucking bitch. I tell you, it doesn't make any difference. They aren't through with us yet. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to crawl into half of a potato skin. I'm going to jerk off thinking about Angela's ashes. Hi, tee tie. That's the only time he's taller than anybody when he goes up the stairs first. Oh, that was the highlight of his night. Ah, oh, yes, I'm the big dog now. Oy, 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 oy. Oh, shit, we've reached the top of the stairs. What's the use of saying goodnight? Are they, when they go to the rooms, are they gonna make the guy playing the piano go to a room too? Hey, there's a guy playing the cello. That's an oversight. Go get him. Uh, Jaden, this is the House on Haunted Hill. Classic Vincent Price movie. It sucks, but it's funny. Vincent Price, he does a lot of really bad movies, but he's such a good actor that he, he elevates them and makes them amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only making fun of the Irish because I keep seeing you complaining about it. <laughs> yeah, I can make fun of Italians if you want. Hey, I'm a gay Italian. I'm gonna go in this room with my dead wife and shove a big toe up my ass. Pretend it's Tony from the docks. Hey. Is that your pussy I smell, honey? No, it's just Tony because he, he handles fucking dead fish on the docks. Now put your foot in my ass, you fucking bitch. Damn it! Yet another glass I can't shove up my ass because it's too weak, it'll break instantly. Unfortunately for him, his gun was made by the Mass Effect Andromeda team, so if he tries to shoot it, it will blow his own head off. Alright, all the reasons why it's not gay if I jerk off to traps. One. It's the 50s, so they're basically just 12-year-old boys. It's more of a pedophile thing than... Wait. Hold on. It's just Vincent. He's He's got the doorknob up his butt. <laughs> er, don't, don't mind me! I was just polishing this knob with my ace! I had some shoe polish left over from when I was doing blackface to get into the gay black bar. Oh! She doesn't want- she just wants to kill herself because she hasn't been touched by a man in 30 years. Ethel Mertz looking bitch. Oh no, I walked under the guy with the Hershey syrup bottle again. No! 
Yeah, don't move or anything stupid. Now here's what I don't get. At the end, they reveal a couple of things, but how do they get the blood to drip? Was it Vincent Price just up there, like, prolapsing his butthole and squeezing some blood out of it? How'd, how'd he do it? Me Lance is actually the name of a Chinese proctologist who deals with boils. Oh, hello, Mr. Bob! How you doing? I've got this boil on my ass, so let me just prolapse it real quick. Okay, me Lance! And me going to lance it! How can you be so sure? She tried to warn me, ask me to help her. The doc thinks he's gonna try and kill one of us. Now, there must be a way out of this place, and I'm gonna find it and get the police. Now, let me get away from this big open window to find a way out of here. If he finds out you're alive. No, Nora. You're safer here than any place else. Now, just lock yourself in and keep quiet. But seriously, though, no one wants to... You, you're you good. We want to look at you, but we want you to be heard. Shut I'll the fuck up, Eddie. I'll come back and get you. But sincerely, let me just reiterate. Shut your fucking mouth. Unless you're opening your mouth to have a cock slide into it, sweetheart. We don't want you opening that mouth, okay? You can eat olives out of a can. That's fine. You can brush your teeth when you're done. We don't want you to have olive breath getting all over my fucking schlonger. Ah, it's that damned wall again. Now, see, where are the nipples on this thing? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Sarpatch. I assume that was another duty tat uh, sticker thing. By the way, you can tell that's not the the same building because that building has. Well, let's go back for a second. Whenever I watch a scary movie, I always think, okay, you're locked in. Why don't you just kick the sheetrock next to the locked door and go out through the sheetrock? American houses are made from balloon frame material. It's it's, it's particle board and, and two by fours that are 16 feet apart. You can, you can kick through that and then pull a beam out and then you have 32 inches. That's enough room to get out of any building. But this is not the same building because look at these windows. They were at big open bay windows. Do you see any of those? Those aren't windows, those are like archways, like doors. So this is like a museum of natural art. <laughs> and they're inside of a studio. I don't get why they chose that for their exterior. Looks like a motel parking lot. Ah, no Instagram. No Facebook on my phone. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> Oh, shit! It's my dick! <laughs> I got so horny, it's snaked all the way around, and it's gone back to 1955 when this movie was made. Don't move or anything, that would ruin the effect. That's right, stay perfectly still. Okay. Yes! It's my Futanari tentacle penis! You didn't realize this movie was made in Japan, did you, bitch? That's right! Get ready to lay some fucking eggs that hatch and turn into orcs! And then they rape you! But then they become traps and they rape each other! Ah, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna hang you. But in all seriousness, I need that rope back. Thanks for standing still and playing along. <laughs> nice jump cut. Oh yeah, she had a gun that whole time. I mean, when you get to the end and you, you get the big reveal, you have to wonder, why would they do that if you could just get shot? B, C, D, A, B, C, D... E, F, B, C, D, E, F. Lady, we can't get to Z if you keep starting over. No, a Greek person tried to touch me. 
Help! He smells like gyro sauce and farts. Boop! <laughs> it's probably scared at least one of you. Yeah, fuckers. Oh, an empty house. I, let me just do what all women do. Put throw pillows everywhere. Fucking animalistic retards. Oh yeah, let's just... Oh, we have a nice couch. Let's make it impossible to sit on without moving five pillows. Oh, you want to have two people sit on the couch? Well, now the pillows go on the floor behind the couch. Don't forget to put them back on there when you're done, though. Or it starts a whole big fucking argument. I heard someone talking about throw pillows. I thought I might bite some, but never mind. Quick, open up my hair's bacon. An admission of guilt, Doctor? Certainly not. There's either somebody else in this house or one of us has left his room. Did you hear anything? Organ music? That. No, no, you know what he means when he says organ music? Hey, let me do this. You got your... let, let's see if anybody can guess what organ's Ready? making this music. You look downstairs, and I'll look up here. Okay, I'm not going to say what that was. It may be only minutes. But you can. Someone's life. You can make a percussion sound. <laughs> it's a different kind of organ music. <laughs> oh, I hope that's what I get banned off of YouTube for. <laughs> Just the sound. <laughs> Ladies, don't try this at home unless you have really big lips. <laughs> Try not to loop them around the back of your leg and get stuck. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good thing I don't have the webcam right now. I really would be banned. <laughs> banned from YouTube, signed up for Xtube. Ah, oh, now my dog's just looking at me. You don't understand what that is, do you? <laughs> yep, still a dumb bitch. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. It's almost over, darling. Every detail was perfect. Except for one thing. What, my love? That disgusting wart on your upper lip. Here's a nickel. Take the bus downtown and have a rat chew it off. What's happening? We've done it. A perfect crime. Has she killed him? Not yet, but she will. Get me out of this hanging harness. What's taking that girl so long? What time is it? At first, I couldn't get Nora to... That's how Robin Williams died. He, he forgot to put his hanging oh, harness on for jacking off that one time. <laughs> you were wonderful. Just the touch that finally drove her into complete hysteria. It'll be worth all of our planning, darling. Where's Nora now? Oh, Wig Lewis, that's not a theremin you hear every now and then. That's the director's autistic son going, Aah! and you just hear, they slap him, they go, Shut up, Corky! None of them will suspect us. Of what? An hysterical girl accidentally shoots somebody? Who She's not that funny. That way that we drove into it. What about my suicide? We're just a ghost party. Your suicide? What about my You're sloping forehead? I have no prefrontal cortex. Well, I don't no even know where I am or what I'm doing. What about Nora? She's not stupid, you know. Darling, believe me. Everybody Darling, she's a woman in the 50s. She's plenty Nora stupid. Nora is sure Frederick murdered you. She thinks Frederick attacked her in the cellar, not me. And now Nora's almost out of her mind with fear. The heads, the music, you're hanging. I tell you, when Frederick walks in there, she'll shoot him. It's taking too long. David, you ought to be there. Mm, don't you love those old 50 kisses where they, they just mush their noses together? <laughs> Let me put my chin in your neck for three seconds. That's a kiss, right? All right, now let's fuck. And he just mushes his balls on the back of her leg. This is sex, right? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, you ever have a girl, she takes your balls and puts it behind her knee, and then she squishes it with her calf and thigh? Ah! Broke into your house for this? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> hmm, a white woman with a gun. I don't know. I mean, I'd be more scared if I was a child and she was driving an SUV towards a body of water. <laughs> I heard you ghosts were trying to stop me from having sex with dogs! I'll show you! It's okay though, she's got ghost bullets. Danny Phantom. He jizzed on them. He's gonna send the ghost back to the ghost zone. That's what they'll get for making fun of her working at that... that Quickie Mart... thing. Nora, I'm not a ghost! Yeah, I know, I just hate homosexuals. <laughs> what a reaction! <laughs> oh no, a dead guy that I shot. Man, I'm scared of that. <laughs> now, real quick. This movie, you might think this movie sucks, it has a lot of visual metaphors. So he and Vincent, they're secretly gay for each other, right? And now they're opening the vat of acid? It's like him spreading his asshole open, it's filled with all that juicy butt acid that's going to melt away all of their heteronormativity so that they could be gay together. So just look in his face. He's like, yeah, bitch, I scared that woman away so that Vincent Price and I can be gay. And watch how it plays out. Oh, Gasha says that they are barrels of lube. You might be right. Yeah, better get my hands all over this gun. When the police come here, I want them to just, just have my prints over as many weapons as possible. I know often no trick-or-treaters. Not even one. I saw like three kids when I was out walking my dog. Ooh, wait a minute, go back. I got a peek. And if I get a peek, you get a peek. There it is, hey! I didn't realize this film was shot in Saudi Arabia because I can clearly see a camel's toe! Nice. Nice. Mmm. I can smell the cat vomit from here. Finally, I killed Vincent so I could wear this outfit. <laughs> <With that. laughs> he took it out of his drawers. No, you bitch, that's my dress! How dare you! David? That's right, Bruce. Boba. David? Veggie. Urgh! Yeah. I thought I told you to vote for me in 2016! It was my turn! Do you know how many little girl vagina burps I've had burped in my face by Bill all these years? Waiting, biding my time. And what do they do? They nominate that fucking retard Joe the second time around! Well, I'll show you with your intact ovaries that work. That don't smell like a fucking grease trap in the back of an old restaurant that never gets changed. I'll show you all. If we can just get to the fucking reveal, because I built this up, it's a little bit early. But here's a real quick establishing shot of the acid again, yes. But then wait for it, my friend. It is going to happen. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. It's not Hillary, it's, it's, uh... The Skellington that obviously came from a science class because it has a hole in the top. Oh my god, run before you get tangled in the obvious wires that everybody can see. Lady, help me! I've got these coat hangers holding my ribs together. It really hurts. Quick! Come here now, quick! Okay. At last you've got it all. Everything I have. <laughs> my life. Look at his little mincy hands. But you're not going to live to enjoy it. Come 
with me, murderess. Come with me. Ah! You touched me with a plastic hand! No! But seriously, kids, drink calcium. Hey, honey, I got a bone to pick with you, huh? Hey, I'm gay, but you finally gave me a boner, huh? Hey, well, you know how, what kind of ass you got? Not a fat ass, not a skinny ass, an acid. Oh! <laughs> oh man, I wish you could do that to all women who get out of line. I don't, honey, I don't want to go watch Rambo 4 in theaters. Oh yeah, do you want to go to the acid bath? No? No? Then we're going to see Rambo 4 in theaters. But I've seen it four times! Oh, and how many acid baths have you had? <laughs> this is the stupidest reveal. How would you do all that with that? He just has two little knobs. Because I went to... Pity you didn't know when you <laughs> What's that chapter called? Halloween that City? That. I went to Party City and got these but shitty I preps. I had a Groupon, bitch. And even though I was alone, I made them Look, redeem it anyway. It's right along here, somewhat. Uh, I've shot Mr. Lorne. He's down in the wine cellar. I don't know I'm telling you because you got outsmarted by a sliding door. You fucking retard. Oh, thank God little guy came there and thought of putting his hand on it to move it. It's him. He's alive. Yes, I caught the bullet between my cheeks. <laughs> you didn't shoot anyone, my dear. I loaded your gun with blanks. You see, if I'm going to be shooting blanks, you will too. My wife were planning to kill me. They failed. Trent tried to throw me in the vat. My wife stumbled and fell. I'm ready for justice to decide if I'm innocent or guilty. Now see, if they want to make sure he goes to jail, he's got to put shoe polish on his face. If they don't put him in jail for that, they'll frame him for raping a white woman. This is the 50s. It's a better time. Oh, Talali! I can see the last potato she ate floating to the surface. I cannot let it go to waste. He just jumps in. They're coming for me now. And then they'll come for you. Oh my God! Woo. Okay, guys, that's that's gonna be it. Um, I don't know if you heard the beginning, but I really have a bad burn on my mouth. My whole mouth is burnt from a a super hot fucking boiled egg. So fucking idiot made me deviled egg and microwaved it. When I've been to it, all the steam popped in my mouth. So, holy shit, my mouth still hurts. So we're gonna call it a night. Uh, I, you know, this movie night went kind of well. Uh, maybe in the future we'll do more. The last time we did it was for the midget cowboy movie. That was a good one too. I guess it, I guess it all depends because this is a public domain movie, and uh, you know, there's always some asshole out there with a copyright on the public domain movies. So we'll see how this goes. Anyways, I hope you all have a really nice Halloween. I'm going to take some more pain meds and uh, probably puke all over myself. Whatever. Up until next time, have a, a wonderful, wonderful time. And 